Hello, and welcome back to my Canvas Guide series. My name is Kyle Fidalgo, and I am going to use these short videos to introduce to you useful tips for maintaining and enhancing your Canvas sites at Boston College Law School. In this short video tutorial, I will cover how to set up rubrics that you can use throughout your Canvas site. Rubrics are an easy way to maintain consistency with your grading, add consistency and direction for students to complete peer review assignments, and are reusable when set up via the Outcome section of Canvas, and are reusable throughout all Canvas courses that you are enrolled. To get started, click on the Outcomes course navigational link. Then, click the Manage Rubrics button in the upper right-hand corner. If you have created a rubric for assignments, quizzes, or graded discussions for this particular course, you will see them here. We will start by adding a new rubric. To do this, click the Add Rubric button in the upper right-hand corner. Rubrics are typically comprised of rows and columns. Rows are used to define the various criteria being used to assess an assignment, and the columns are used to define the levels of performance for each criterion. Let's start off by giving your rubric a title. Click in the Title field to edit the title. I'll recreate part of a rubric I found online for legal writing. Next, decide what criteria you would like to assess, and when ready, hover over the Criteria Description field and click the pencil icon to type in your criteria. If you wish to add a longer description, you can always click the View Longer Description link and add additional comments in the dialog box that appears. Next, you will configure the ratings. These ratings are completely customizable. If you wish to add more than the default number of ratings, you can hover over the Ratings field and click the plus icon. If you added a rating field by accident, you can remove the rating field by hovering over the field and clicking the X icon. Note that you cannot delete the full marks or the no marks rating. You will always have at least two rating options available to help score your rubric. If you wish to change the description of the rating, you can do so by simply clicking the text of the description or by hovering over the field and clicking the pencil icon. If you wish to change the point values assigned to the rating options, you can do so while you are in edit mode for that particular rating. The points column will automatically update with the appropriate number of points based on the number you enter for each field. Now you can add additional criteria if needed by clicking the Add Criterion link. Once you are finished configuring your rubric, click the Create Rubric button to save it. You can now edit any of the rubrics you have created by clicking the name of it from the Course Rubrics page. Or, if you wish to add another rubric, click the Add Rubric button. You can delete a rubric you have created by clicking the name of the rubric, and then clicking the Delete Rubric button. That's it for this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this in the future.